Now from a field that will host Super Bowl 58 come February, there's a good look inside Allegiant Stadium just off the 15 here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Here's A-Chain to begin the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to them. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. A chain on the counter. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. The Raiders at 7-1 now on the year. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Jones will come now in motion right. First down, they go back to A-Chain. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Jalen Carter working his way back behind the line of scrimmage and dropping him for a loss. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Throwing. Hayner. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. And it's third down. You talk about this giant defense. They come into this one ninth in the NFL against the run. I still crack up a little bit after we left our meeting with the defensive coordinator. Because I said to you, stop me if you've heard the... Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. It's Brian Branch with it. And running with power here. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. So far this season, this defense has had their issues against the pass, so that's a great sign for them to get the early pick. Yeah, confidence builder for them and an absolute shock for the quarterback because he went into it. He saw the numbers we saw. He watched them on tape. I think he came into this one thinking this is going to be a big day, and it very well could be, but early in this one, advantage defense. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Here's second and ten. Option right, here's Stroud. And a good job by the Raider defense yet again as they drop him for a second straight loss. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. Stroud on third down now. That is caught. Touchdown, Giants. Jonathan Mingo, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Giants are on the board first here in Vegas. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. 
From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Raiders. That was a special return, and it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from his special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. Well, let's be honest. A lot of times when they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? You're exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules, and if you do, you're taking on some responsibility, but he was happy to do so there. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. for football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a lot. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked off by Quan Martin. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Now is second and 10. Uh, again, it's A.J. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Devon A.J., his eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Raiders have taken the lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And Stroud now to throw. Flush to his right. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 23 yards on the tuck and run. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 38. Straight ahead with Gibbs here. Down at the 35. It'll be second down. Well, this defense for the Raiders, they were terrific a week ago in that win over Detroit. It was an absolutely dominating shutdown performance for them because they shut down the run. They shut down the pass. I think at one point, the question was whether or not they could actually hold them to negative yardage for the entire game. That's how. Touchdown! Drake London, 35 yards. And the Giants are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. So on this drive, the rookie leads him into the end zone, Charles, and that helps cancel out the points that were created on the previous drive when he threw the interception. Yeah, let's give some credit to this rookie because instead of hanging his head after his mistake leads to a touchdown, he comes back out and he's firing and made up for it right there. A well-executed series helps reestablish some confidence in him to run this offense. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. 
Just the one misstep for them in the first half of the season. 7-1 is the record at the midway point. And in terms of whatever power rankings you want to go by, they're at or near the top of the list in terms of best teams in the National Football League. And for me and my little bit of rankings here, I've got them at the top. I know there's still two months to go. And we've seen teams get off to hot starts and then fade away due to injuries or the schedule or whatever. But unless there are a rash of injuries on this team, I'd be surprised if they're on the first or second seed come playoff time. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty entertaining start. 14 all the score on EA Sports. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll run for it with a chain. Down the left sideline. He may go. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Devon A. Chain with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Raiders have taken the lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Second down, and they go back to Gibbs. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. On first down, here's Stroud. Forced out to his left. And that one going to come up short, low throw. Oh, and I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. Stroud now on second down. And down he goes. Brought down a Raider sack. Nolan Smith gets his 20th sack of the season as he continues what could be a record-setting campaign. Oh, a tough situation to overcome here. Third and 17. Stroud looking to throw. Here's a diving catch right side. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. They get 15, but they still needed a little bit more. Fourth down. Stroud and company going for it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Here's Stroud. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Aiden Hutchinson. Just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Gibbs straight ahead. Yeah, nothing doing here as this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Stroud working out of the gun. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They're going for a the receiver there. Already has one touchdown in this first half. A second one not to be. Over their headspace 
misses, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. And now we'll get a delay here as they try to give themselves a little more room for the punt. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. On fourth down, Don Maggio out to punt. punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away and this will be out of bounds and they spot it at the at the 15 yard line not too bad the Raider offense set to get this drive started and you know it's certainly a lot of football left to play we're not into December yet but right now where we stand they're in first place in their division looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round by and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. And a decent game there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. 126 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Here's third and six. A chain here, they stay on the ground. And he will not make it to that imaginary yellow line as they get him to the ground at about the 23. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. Now that was a big time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let him get anywhere near it. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They run for it. A chain. Now he's loose again. He's on his way. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Devon A. Chain on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Raiders' decision to go for it pays off with six points. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. Is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. 
And a strange one here, a little befuddled. They're sending out the field goal unit now. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Stroud. He's got Mingo. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Stroud now on first and 10. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. Second and 10. Stroud to throw it. That is caught by Laporta. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 34-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing now is Stroud. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now Stroud. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. Is it a momentary roadblock with that incompletion? No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. The throwing again is Stroud. And that incomplete nearly intercepted. And remember, he had his hands on one earlier, had one pick. Could have been his second, but instead, it's fourth down. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. On the right hash, officially, this will be a 51-yard attempt. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and that will do it for this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for possible comeback, because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now, they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come out and continue to throw the ball effectively. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him now to this point. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance and get them. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Another run for Gibbs here. He's got it to the 43 here. 
Nice job there on the tackle. Keep him to the short gain. And, of course, he got some good news this week. He was named AFC Defensive Player of the Week from last week's effort. And part of the reason he got that award, because of plays like that. Not every play is spectacular. Not every play is for a loss. Make the plays that are in front of you. Keep it to short gains, and you pile up statistics. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning for him. Yes, let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 26. Stroud, he's going to audible to something else. Now back to the ground. Here's Gibbs. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. And they're going to speed things up here. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. I know that rookie quarterbacks have to earn veteran receivers' trust. Maybe we saw that on that play with that type of effort, huh? Yeah, helping out the rook with a heck of a catch. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Stroud out of the gun here. Touchdown, Giants! John Bates, his first touchdown on the year. And the Giants have cut it back within a score. Brian Dable dialing up a play call here as they will go for two. Stroud's going to try to throw for the conversion. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Raiders. Two-point conversion attempt forthcoming. Painter will look to throw for this. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst, and if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. Another throw on second down. This one incomplete as well. A couple quick incompletions, and now they just won't go away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crap the throwing lanes? Got his man. It's London. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Now they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and ten. 
Throw left side pulled in by Mingo. It's a big time play there for the G Man. 49 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. They'll run with Gibbs. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. You know, when this offense gets down here near the end zone, they're going to turn to their bell cow. This guy's been a touchdown machine all year. Excellent job stopping him there on first down. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Gibbs will score. Touchdown, New York. So it's a pretty good season he's putting together running the football. That now 10 rushing touchdowns on the year. And we know this is a passing league, and those numbers throwing the football, they seem to go up and up every year. But there's still something to have a reliable back you can count on in the red zone to bring things home for you. And that's what he's been doing all season long. Now a toss coming right side. Gibbs. And he got it on the touchdown run, but he won't get in here. He'll be stopped short, and they'll come up empty on the try for two. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field. And you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. Is that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all living on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. A give left side. Here's A chain. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe up to the 41. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we're at the 41, second and nine. Running right, here's A chain. Treads him with a stiff arm. 244 yards. Rushing for him now as his fine rookie season continues. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. 
He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Addison will go in motion left. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. On second down, a run by H.A. And now the rookie's free. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Well, that's a good-looking rookie right there. I love how he let the play set up and then showed that explosiveness that I saw on tape in college. Remember I showed you the clip of what he was doing and setting up blocks, and then he would just go? We saw it on that play right there. That one was fun to watch. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes... It got his man complete! Look at the big man rumble. Touchdown! Sam Laporta, 88 yards. And the Giants have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. And I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. The extra point try now for Moody. And this is back to a five-point game. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? <laughs> they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try to protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Nine big yards on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Give him two on that run, and they're still left looking at a third and about nine to go. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Raiders on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. It's a chain. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for Las Vegas first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. 
they feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. So from the 36 now, first and 10. In motion right is Addison. They'll send the tight end in motion left. H.A. now first and ten. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. I think as a running back in this spot, you have to understand there's not going to be a whole lot of room to run. And in this case, ball protection takes precedent over trying to make something happen. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. Second and long, but you got to figure this almost certainly another run. Now it's A-Chain headed right. Stiff armed him. And he'll work this one out to about the 38. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football, and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. Out of the gun, it's Hayner. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he's going to have a Raider first down. And that should be the one that finishes the script here. Has a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? They should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. On the handoff, it's A.J. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Devon A.J. 46 yards. And the Raiders sure look like they're going to be moving to 8-1 and one as they add on to their lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Here's first and 10. Now Stroud. Well, this pass is caught by London. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. One timeout at their disposal, but more pressing is the need for two scores, obviously. Here's first and 10. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. Here's Stroud. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. Fourth down, fourth quarter, here's Stroud. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by J.C. Horn, and the Raiders are going to have great field position. 
position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. They brought the house that time on a young rookie, maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break off their routes quickly as well. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. What do they have for this? Third and 11. Hayner looking to throw. He's going to let this go for the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends. And understandably so, not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is of all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for the Raiders, they're setting themselves up as a major contender as they move to 8-1 and one now on the year. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Giants, they'll lose an important one here as that drops them to 5-4 and four on the season. And they'll try to get back on track next week as they head to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. Thank you. 